Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video for me is one that I always get excited for. This video checks all the right boxes. A brand whose products I greatly enjoy. Brand new to me, absolutely fantastic design and more than anything, just begs for me to get into the outdoors, do some backcountry, deep mountain hiking. Well, today we're here to talk about Eberly Stock. Again, a brand who I've come to greatly enjoy and trust their products. So these products aren't brand new to the market, but they are brand new to me. And I'm getting a look at these for the first time as I would say really a follow-up to some videos that I did last season. Last season, I had the opportunity to get deep into the mountains with some awesome Eberly stock gear. I saw these guys at SHOT Show 2022 and when I was at SHOT Show struck up a conversation and said hey man you got some pretty awesome stuff coming out this year and they said well it's not quite ready but in the meantime we'd love to get you some stuff take a look at it, get out into the mountains, and enjoy some Eberly stock products. So that's exactly what we have here today. So here we have the mainframe. This is the long torso, a couple of matching bat wings, the Vapor 2500, all of which in this amazing Mirage camo. So what we're going to do today is a first look and impression at these products. We're going to take a look at them for the first time, kind of compare them a little bit against the products I've looked at in the past, and I'll give you a little bit more detail about some of the other products in the Eberly stock lineup. And then from there, well, I can tell you, expect to see these at length. This here is going to be my new workhorse system. I have a feeling this is going to show up time and time and time again, not just for the mountains, but for my actual like workhorse like bushcraft bag this thing is going to haul and haul and haul gear that is the purpose of this i am absolutely excited but with that said i have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what i'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Eberly Stock who did provide these products for review. Now, I've been an Eberly Stock fan and customer for a long time. I've been buying Eberly Stock gear now for, I'd say, just shy of about eight years. I had the Sky Crane, which was an amazing pack, the Little Brother. I've had their rifle packs, really great gear. But last year, I started rocking their Kite. This kite here, an awesome bag. I really trusted it for deep mountain hikes. It was fantastic. But getting more into their modular systems, here I have the carrier frame. Very, very good, but there was one thing missing, and I'll get into that in a bit. Not to mention, I've used their duffel bags, their dry bags, and all of their different pouches and accessories. I have used Eberly stock gear at length and I absolutely love it. So here, sitting here with this mainframe, the Vapor, the bat wings, I am absolutely pumped to get new Eberly stock gear in my hands. But the first thing is, let's step back to this carrier frame again. Remember, I was saying it was missing something. Well, you notice this carrier frame, it has no shelf. And that was okay, not a big deal. However, I always kind of wished I had gotten my hands on the mainframe for the benefits that you get of having this shelf. Just the ability to support and hold up the load and keep it from really sagging down. That to me is a big benefit when you talk about the mainframe versus the carrier frame. Now you're gonna have a little bit difference in weight. You might have a little bit of a difference in your approach as to what you'd use each one of these for. But I can tell you here with the long frame, I mean really take a look at the difference in the overall height of these. You get a lot more frame and a lot more support in my opinion, from the mainframe, and that's exactly why I'm excited to have this here in my hands. Now again, this here in the Mirage Camo. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this pattern. Now, their camo patterns, 
when you actually feel the fabric, it's a little bit different versus the solids. The solids are generally more of like a ripstop nylon, but when you really look at how soft these patterns are on the camel, that does a couple of things. Most specifically, it keeps you quiet. Remember, this is hunting gear. It's really meant to be quiet when you're out in the elements, so you're not spooking animals, you're maintaining a low profile. Even for me, where I'm hiking and backpacking, I still like that. I don't want to draw attention to myself. I kind of want to just go stealth mode. So to have this awesome camo, but the fabrics are quiet, that's a bonus. Now, most of the products that I showed you today are part of the E-Mod system. So that's Eberly Stock's modular build-out. There are so many things you can do with this. It is and I'm not going to say unlimited, but there are a ton of different combinations you could go with. And that's where things like the bat wings come in. So these bat wings are zip on pockets. Very cool. You have the ability literally to zip these onto the frame and then put them to good use. Now, this is a nice large pouch, fairly large overall, capable of doing a number of different things for me where this is really gonna come into play, I always need a place on the outside of my pack to get to my water and food easily and effectively while I'm out on the trails. A lot of times with my gear, I really don't wanna be digging into my pack while I'm out on the trails. I need to get to my stuff very easily on the outside of the bag. So having these bat wings really literally like zipped onto the outside of the frame, that's gonna work out very well. But then stepping back, what about the bag itself? Well, because it's the E-Mod system, I can use things like, for example, this dry bag. I use this with the carrier frame very effectively. I can now use this moving forward with the main frame, the ability to literally zip this on and be enclosed in a full dry bag. That's a plus. Or I could take the bat wings, zip these on. I can lash this directly to the main frame. And then I have the benefit of both the dry bag and the pouches on the outside of the pack. But then going back to the kite, well, the kite had the ability to cinch this down onto that carrier frame, it can also be cinched down onto the main frame. So if I want to use this kite, I can take off its own straps. I can get this strapped onto the frame using a number of lashing points, and that's going to work out very well. But even better, the Vapor series of bags. Extremely lightweight, very lightweight bags. This one here is the 2500. So 2500 cubic inches. They do make other sizes all the way up into the 7000 range. So depending on what you're trying to do, what your objectives are, and how much gear you need to carry, you can size this up accordingly. So again, this is the 2500. This for me is going to be more of a day pack. So if I'm looking for that sort of day excursion, the ability just to load up my basic essentials and basic needs, get out for a day trip and still have the nice quality ride that you get with that frame pack, the nice sturdy, just load bearing ride, the awesome Everly stock suspension system, the great ventilation and all the features that come with Everly stock equipment. Well, you get the best of both worlds. A nice lightweight day pack and a good robust harness system combined together for almost, in my opinion, that premium ride quality. Now again, this is a first look and first impression of these bags. These are going to all have follow up like full detailed field reviews in the future and especially as it turns the corner gets into spring and I start hitting the mountains but just a few things real quick to touch on as I mentioned this main frame here this is the long so a longer torso I'm six foot one this is going to work very well for the size of my body shape and the height of my torso the length of my back and the ability to get this adjusted to the proper ride and on top of that, the fact that I end up with a little bit more bearing surface and some more like attachment points along the way. So first things first, I'm going to take this off. We're going to remove these straps, just get these out of the way. Now, again, there are many different ways you can attach to this pack, but I'm just going to give you an example real quick with the vapor. So I can, in theory, literally just clip the vapor on if I want or I could literally just place it on here and use the accessory straps, get those straps around this, or 
I can zip this directly onto the frame. Eberly Stock uses very nice, high quality and heavy duty zippers, very nice hardware all the way around. So it's going to be robust. But as I zip this into place, fairly straightforward, all things considered, pretty much just getting a zipper on one side here. We're gonna establish it onto the bottom of the zipper track, one on each side of the bag. And as I get this started here, Quite simple. And then again, on this side of the bag, again, zipping this up, quite simple. Not much to it. And now at this point, the vapor is literally zipped directly onto the bag. Now on top of that, they've worked a couple of little safeguards into this, which I like. As you look at the top here, it does have this keeper and this little loop, and you pop this into place. It's a little stubborn, but it'll go. But now you can see this keeper here does prevent the zipper from traveling back down and unzipping the bag while you're out there. So that working very well. The side compression straps still being used as side compression straps. Now I'm not gonna weigh in too much on my actual like thoughts and ideas on this. However, I do think that one thing that would have been very good is if they actually sort of went opposites with the male and female buckles. You'll notice here that this isn't quite aligned, but in theory, if one of these was a male and the other was a female, theoretically you could have clipped these together and that would have worked fine. Now it does change what you do with the front straps. At that point, you do kind of use these across the front of the bag, but then again, eh, sort of sixes, one half dozen or another. So instead, you do still leverage these main straps as your side compression straps here. So these going pretty much as they were. And then you can use the add-on accessory straps Again, as either additional compression straps, you could ditch these all together, or if you wanted to, you could run from one side of the bag all the way across to the other side to keep things tidy or even add on additional gear. So again, very modular. The idea being that with the EMOD system, you can really mix this up however you want. You have a ton of different attachment points. You have the ability to put on the day pack, larger packs, scale this up, scale it down, and then have that like hauling and just load bearing capacity. And I love that even below the bag, I still have this shelf. So as somebody who's into hiking, camping, and backpacking, my tent literally sitting right here, my shelter system on the bottom of this, resting on that shelf, not flapping around, good and sturdy, this is gonna be absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to get this out into the field. And so here, just real quick, this is one potential configuration utilizing the mainframe with the Vapor and the bat wings. As you can see here, everything packaged up very nicely, fairly tidy. Now it does get just a little bit wide. You'll hear me talk on my channel all the time for the backpacking application, having the backpack live between your shoulder blades. This might be pushing out just a little bit, but at the same time, keep in mind the modularity, the quality, the ride quality, the fact that this is on a robust frame and just the ability to load this up. So with the 2500 main pack, these nice large bat wings, the accessory shelf, the ability just to strap things onto this pack, this setup is going to be fantastic. So this does give you a pretty good understanding of what you might be able to do with the Eberly Stock EMOD system. And so again, this is not intended on being a full featured review on any one of these products and even more so, I'd say just a general overview and introduction to this lineup. I am absolutely pumped to have these in my hands, to be looking forward to turning the corner, getting out into the mountains. So the next time you see these products, they're gonna each have their own full field review. I'm gonna be putting these to the paces. I'm gonna be getting them deep into the wilderness, some good quality mountain hiking time, and even more so, especially for this mainframe, this is gonna be my new workhorse pack. So much, much more to come. Again, I'd like to say, 
thank you very much to the people at Everly Stock. I'm a huge Everly Stock fan. I'm absolutely a customer first and foremost, but to have the opportunity to review these products, I just want to say thank you very much. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. On that channel, there are a number of videos. It's growing quickly. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless too. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.